a it's conquer. active. Yeah, yeah. It's active. It, it, also, <laughs> it's DK plus Lash Rack. You have a lot of pushing. Uh, second fastest here in the game. Something like that. Oh, nice dodge stun. It won't save him, but it, it wastes a little bit more time. He's juking. He's trying. And it will be a first blood given to Innocence on oh, one. Yeah, CCNC knows this matchup uh, really Jowie. well. He will go down. Sorry about that. Ferrari go down. Oh, Kitra, yep, gets the shield, pulls him back in. Will have a Frosno as well. There's the Laguna Blade. Maybe not. They're trying, but here comes the rest of the team. No, Yawar is going to come over. Stun comes out. A lot of damage mitigation with that Breathe Fire, but it won't be enough. Right now. Yeah. Smart call. We are Baby. Yep. There goes the <laughs> stun. Uh oh, yeah. PA, well, they do back out, so just some harass going. Winter Wyvern will throw out some, and... Skewer will miss, but yeah, there, as you said, CC and C's gonna come. He will miss the stun. They do run over Xiao Wei, and that's a little trouble. Laguna goes down, but he will get healed up by that cold embrace. Kitrek goes down first. Xiao Wei will be next. CC and C hits a nice stun. Do we have any sticks on Jin Q? Yep, he has 10. CC and C could be in a lot of trouble. Kitrek. Will throw out the shield. Will it be enough? Stun goes. MSS is here as well. The case goes on the DK. Will we see anyone get pulled back? We sure do. It'll be Jin Q. He has another stun in four seconds. Five stick charges. Just getting right click down. Breathe fire. Go hop power by himself and just continue to farm. Yeah, he's getting closer to that uh, road of Athos, which is uh, really huge for So I guess they want to take a fight. They can also see that Winter Vibrant is still level five. He is and oh, they're gonna go in. They back out. They see the shrine. Well, the chain frost is gonna go. They are gonna slow him down. It's bouncing between the neutrals and him. Laguna goes out. Chain frost still bouncing. Gets the kill. They definitely baited in. MSS, oh, almost skewers, but a good stun away from the Sand King. They will be able to pick off the Winter Wyvern as well, though. Yeah. Oh, we might see some. Zhao Aid actually flies in. Jin Q will hit the stun. It is going to be on the PA. Is the Lich nearby? No. Stun's going to go out, and that's just going to be an easy kill onto that Phantom Assassin. Oh, yep, Kitrek, you are going to go down here, my friend. And the old... Nah, I was going to say Sand King. Oh, 430. They did not see that DP. Uh-oh, he does And we're going to blink forward. They're going to go for the Lina. Does get the stun, but do we have anyone else? They're just going to Centaur, and they're just going to try to run away. Will they all make it or something picked up? Nah, Kit Drag, of course. DK has a blink. Which way? Oh, he goes the right way. They actually see. Will Lena get out? Stuns the right trees. Runs on through. Stun miss from Jin Q. To the left. Oh, no. And that's going to be a pickoff. What a good job by 430 right there. Just following, finding the right path, and getting the kill. Yeah. Out now. Still has the blink up. Uh oh, Atos is gonna go. That's gonna be a nice double stun from Jin Q. They're gonna try to blast him. You are. Will get his BKB off. Chain Frost is gonna fly. Not doing too much. There's the winner's curse beating down on that BKB PA. No one's gonna find anything yet. Zhao Eight is moving forward. Laguna Blade gets the kill. A little aggressive from E Home. They're gonna try to chase forward for more. And N goes in. Oh, tries to blow up the Lina instantly. By the way, has a Crystalis on the Lina. And she is gonna go down. Jump forward and has e -blade. Just Oh my goodness, there is going to be an ulti. Will it be enough? No, the E Blade almost amplifies the damage, but N continues to run forward. Ferrari, he's just here. He, he's actually just like running in circles, stunning everyone, giving him vision. We're going to say move forward by N on this Morphling, and they're just diving you in your own base. And uh oh, Centaur, your level eight. Look at this level 18 Centaur just melt. Instantly dead. Turns in that PA, has the extra 20 cents in the whole fight, so they can reset. Snaking, nice DP shrine stun. Yep, finds one. It will be the DK. Yawar is going to chase down as well. Will Phantom strike over, and this should be a kill on the DK. They they will get a little bit of a return kill. Uh oh, misses the skewer. He's not going to get out of here, just wasting some time. Snake. Strike. They can still push the mid. They will. We see a blink forward. They're going to go for this DK. Nice, nice double stun, stun by Jin Q. And oh my goodness, CCNC gets blasted down. And still here, there's going to be a stun. There's going to be the buyback from the Lena Snaking. He's so tanky, but even he takes so much damage from this Morphling. CCNC, that's a buyback. You cannot die right here. There'll be a way for him forward. And guess what? Oh my goodness, what a play by MSS. He pulls one under the tower. There's the Chain Frost. They combo together. That'll be one kill, but Jin Q ulti stuns in. If they really want this Lena, and I think they're going to find her, there's going to be the Ato. Stun goes out, Jowie running at him, and there's going to be a kill again. We'll see. Yep, there's going to be the ulti. Jin Q tries to get out. Stun in the backside. Not quite yet. Snake King actually whiffs it. Yule's in the air, Jin Q in trouble, and ulti. Oh my goodness. Innocent just goes down, never end. He's still there. Yep, blow him up on the back. Kit track. Dies instantly, and this Morphling just feels way too far. Nice yeah, double stun like by Jin Q, yeah. This game is looking to be curtain. Centaur will get a stun up to survive a little bit longer, but I have a feeling Jin Q is going to chase him down, has a stun in one, and uh, yep, uh, there it is. Right click, and see you later. That's a dieback as well. Yeah, that's that is their Centaur. Like, they're like, well, our PA is far So, I guess, okay, that so that'll be our four. Hello, hello. And talking. it's the Xiaowei yeah, Prophet. He's played this. Not do well in his lane. He dies. He DPs back to a side lane, gets a kill, maybe even two, and uh, he gets uh, the gold from there. So yep, and look at this. It's Innocent's in a lot of trouble. Top Snaking needs one more right click. It looks like, will he get it off? It's 302. Yep, he's got the move speed to beat it. And a lot of uh, damage to the tower. They yeah, could have actually used the Glyph as well. 
Yeah, and look at this Snake King. He's he can just, just DP around. out. I, th I think he likes this, right? He's like, well, it looks like he's going to die. Maybe he wants to, I'm not sure. But End will get the kill. But this Shin. It is only a level 2 Sand King, though, but it might be enough. He will get the, the stun, and they're going to try to TP in. Can they get this kill? Sure can. That's a big damage coming out from the Monkey King with that Jingu Mastery. But they will get MSS on the backside. They're going to try to turn around. Monkey King in a little bit of trouble. Sprout. Sprout goes out. Toss will be there. Ooh, oh. stunned on the ground. Do they know? They sure do. They go uphill. Stun's going to fly. No wave of terror, but I don't think they're going to need it. Meanwhile, Zhao Wei dies under the tower, actually, on that nature's prop. Like, Monkey King's not a hero that you just want to free farm on. Uh -oh. want to make some kind of Oracle in a lot of trouble will just go down. We do see Dire is rotating up top, and Snake King knows something's going on right now. He's just hiding, not even cutting the creep away. Bottom, they will get Zhao Wei together, but hey, you never know. And uh oh, MSS in a lot of trouble has Sandstorm. I assume they have detection now. I, I hope so. They, they have do. one Sentry Ward. Yeah, they're going to plant it down under the tower, and now they're just going to kill the tower, so it'll be a safe Sentry Ward. Yeah, Medusa, if they can grab that kill, Centaur Stomp is ready. Looks like they can. Oh, but the ulti comes off on Medusa once more, and such quick fingers coming out from 430. It's going to be a toss. They're going to toss that tower. Is that a good play? Oh, no. And now the Morphling comes Jin Q. Might have just got his teammate killed. CC and C to try to run away. They're all rotating in right now and just chasing down Kitrak. Toss into the air. They're going to actually turn on the tiny. It looks like no one really wants to run from this fight. CC and C to try to proc the Jingu Mastery. Kitrak just getting right click. Nice purge. Will it be enough to save him? No, he goes down. Doing a ton of damage to this Life Stealer. Can he's for Jow? It's even going to TP forward. Yep, there goes the Sprout. We have a Quelling Blade, but it will slow him enough to let this Venge get the stun up. This will be a kill on Snake King. This is pretty high. I don't think we'll get Okay, never mind. We might get something out of here. Yeah, he's just going to throw that Wave of Terror. Now they're going to try to stampede in. A nice stun coming out from the Tiny. Will hit onto three of them. Sand King's going to miss his stun. Boundless Strike will hit. Will they be able to lock down? Yes, they get the Tiny. They want to chase his Vengeful. No tier one to TP two. I think you all just get out of here and they will. Damage on side of E Home is physical. No. Uh oh, there we go. Open wound's gonna go out. There will be a Monkey King ulti. Boundless strike goes. There's gonna be a nice stun from MSS. Nature's Prophet drops immediately. End's gonna try to run away. He had pushing forward. Stomp in two seconds. Monkey King gonna jump down. Tiny trying to juke, but it looks like this Tiny is just gonna go down. Right click, right click, right click. Whoa, swap saving. Nope. Jin Q goes down to the Boundless, and now you're just gonna feed away the Venge. End comes in, but bud, you're, you're, you're 1v4 right here. You gotta. Uh oh, bottom lane. It is going to be the 15 minute runes. Who will pick it up? It will be Jin Kui. He actually bottles it. He will die for it. A swap out. Maybe this time he will get saved. They're going to try to run him over. Yep, there goes the Ventral Spear, but he does save his teammate and get each other all in teams. And oh, Snake King's looking really fun. Joey's going to go for the TP. Will Snake King find him? Sure does. Nice play there, but can they lock him down more? Yep, because CC and C is here. Boundless Strike to stop the TP. And a couple more right clicks. They get it. Unsent the Sentry Ward on the ground. They see Jin Kui and Viz. Now they're actually going to stun Fortin. Uh oh, someone might have been a little bit cocky with that invisibility. The triangle of wards yep. on the Radiant side. Yep. And uh -oh. They're going to run in. There's going to be a stampede. Here comes the ulti. CC and C down here as well. They can see him TPing in, but he did not get out of here in time. And oh my goodness, the swap almost saves, but the last Wukong out there does get the kill. And well, there goes Venge's tier three tower. It's already almost dead. They're going to blink forward. He doesn't get his ulti off in time. He will get the swap off of the Wukong will go down and they get an instant kill on this vent. They can just turn around from this. Uh, Yawar feels like, and he doesn't have any mana, but he does have the Aegis. They blink forward again. Another good one by Snaking. Pops the ulti. We're going to see Stun Toss combo by Jin Q doing a ton to everyone, but no one going down quiet. CC and C's dead immediately. Oh my goodness. This life stealer is just melting. Bill Kittrick, one more shot to kill him. Yep, we'll get it. And what the heck? The Their only chance is just defending the high ground. Yep. Let Medusa get fat and this uh -oh. life stealer deals ton of damage. Yeah, here we go. There's going to be an ulti from CC and C, but no one's really in it right now. Medusa hasn't even popped the ult. Oh, on the backside, though. Nature's Private will get swapped out. We'll do this fine. Both. Zhao Wei getting run down. Same with Innocence. Nice a nice stun. double stun by MSS. He's going to pop his ulti as well. 430 just pops the ulti. And there's the basher hit on MSS, but a nice save from Kitrick. Yuar just melting. Gets that free rage as well from the morph. And now they are going to try to turn it. That's going to be an easy kill on the Medusa. End is going in. They get the kill on Kitrak, but your Medusa is down. You got to be careful. Yuar's here as well, still posing as the life stealer. Will be a stun from Jin Q. Toss him over. Snake King in a little bit of trouble. Needs one more hit. There it is. End doing so much damage. Jin Q will go down. But CC and C and Yuar can definitely 2v1 against this middle lane. They are running down bottom. And uh oh, Medusa thought she was safe farming down here. And once again, where's the Venge? Oh, CC and C found him in the back lines. This should be a kill for her. He gets his ulti up, but instance dies on that Venge. And now Medusa, that ulti's going to wear off. He's going to try to TP if he somehow makes it. No, Yuar with a good strength done. They're going to be able to bring him down. And didn't we see this before in this exam? I mean, 
That's pretty much that here right now, and here we go. There's going to be a stun toss coming. Oh my goodness, your war gets instantly melted. A little bit of a mistake there. Snaking now could be in trouble, does get stunned. Here comes the Wukong's command. They might just try to get out. Zhao Wei, four steps. There's going to be a swap, as you said. It just takes it down, and now he's kind of stuck right here. And will he break in? Now they're chilling. And he should be able to jump away because you're not technically taking damage, but he might die anyways after this procs, because I'm not seeing any heals coming out. Yeah, he'll just die he in this. <laughs> then I'm sure they got surprised. Oh, they're going to jump in. They're going to look for one. It's a nice double stun. Now snaking, it's a double as well. What a play by MSS on the backside. Though, Jin Q jumps in. Kitrek will go down. They try to force staff out and end. Yep, see you later. Rage TP. Jin Q probably going to go down for this. And, well, there you go. Ford does take a good fight. And, uh oh. Medusa will just pop the ulti to try to get away, but a stun comes out. The TP gets canceled. Now MSS, he will get the epicenter off to slow him. They're going to try to do all they can. They're just going to chase him down. He will get slowed. The rest of them do, but they will. Nice handle. dodge. Yep. Good job with the Manta, but he, there's just too many stuns on this team. They're trying to get Ferrari out, but will get brought down instead of making the Oracle do it. It's nice. Oh, well, we are going to see the buyback. Here we go. And and we see the damage. They swap in CC and C. He is getting Jeez. stunned up. He will eat the cheese. He will survive a little bit longer. Medusa is getting bursted down. There's going to be a swap back in the tower. CC and C will get false problems. So he's trying to jump away. You can do that since you're not taking damage. And he's just going to throw out the ult. He's going to try to stay in, but he does get stunned. Stun will go on Jow 8 as well. CC and C. He is still alive. He's just trying to stay there and gets the kill on Snaking. They do bring one barracks down, but CC and C will drop. And uh oh, there goes MSS. Jin Q will die on the backside. DUR, but he gets swapped into the base. Does he have a, He doesn't have he enough mana no for rage. He does have the Aegis still, but I think he's just going to die twice. We, we're going to go uphill. Kitrak trying to get the purge off, and uh-oh. Yuar gets bashed one time. He changes again. He Perfect timing forward. on that basher. So that's a five. There's going to be the buyback finally from the Morph Flight. Stun goes forward, but they go on different heroes, it looks like. They might have been able to burst down, and instead he's going to try to run away. Yuar on the backside does kill the Vengeful Spear, and uh-oh. They're going to try to run away. Oh, sorry, he gets his ulti off, tries to freeze him. Will the TP work? Looks like they're all going to make it out. They do. Oh, the stun. Jump in Snake. Here. They're going to go for it. Will he get a double stun? No, a four step away. It looks like Innocence will die, and they just want to run for now, it seems. Medusa does have ulti if she needs to pop it. Will she? Hasn't yet. There's a buyback coming from the Venge on the backside. Whoa, Jin Q's there as well as N. Kitrax, he'd have to pop the ulti on himself. He does pop the shrine. They're going to try to turn it. Will they be able to bring on this life stealer? Has a wand. No rage. They get him. That's 909 gold fight, and they want to go after Ferrari. MSS is here. The stun will go out right after BKB. They trap Snake in, so there will be no follow up stun. And guess who's still inside the tiny life stealer? Hasn't jumped out quite yet. It doesn't look like Dyer really wants to take this fight. Maybe they do. They jump on the backside. They find Kitrax. Will he be able to get his ulti off on himself? No, he gets brought down. Guardian Greaves won't save him. CCNC in a lot of trouble. Buyback instantly from Kitrek. 430 is just right-clicking the melee they rack, hitting everyone. Medusa. But what a play by MSS. He gets the stun. Will they live? No. 430 goes down to Medusa. And now end. Uh-oh. Sheep's like they're going to try to turn it. There's the Spirit Vessel. A nice stun by Snake. He actually saved him. The Life Stealer gets done. Open Wounds goes out. They're just going to have to run. It looks like Ford will hold this base. Hops inside of a creep trying to deny all of them. Zhao 8, though, is going to get brought down in MSS. This boy. But yeah, it cost them two buybacks. Ooh. Life Stealer's going to go down. Yep. Jane Q. <laughs> oh, uh, he just suicided. <laughs> He, he went for Yawar, but that was that, that feels like a 1% kind of play. Yeah, that's a pop off and stop the TP here. They're going to blink forward instead. There's going to be the first ulti coming from Centaur. And well, Vengeful didn't stop a TP, bought a little bit of time, but looks like the Range Rack's bottom will go down, but they're going to... And what a game. There's going to be a stun toss. They haven't lost the melee quite yet. Lincoln's as well as Lotus will block some stuff. Snake's going back. Is getting scouted. Doesn't have any mana. Pops his... Gets some mana back, and now, uh-oh, turns into the Morph, turns into the Life Stealer, will pop that Rage, they're going in, CC and C's not here, and the Bashes, Bashes, Bashes! Is there going to be another one? No, he changes to the Morph on the backside, Zhao 8 will go down, they can't quite kill Oracle as well, or Snake King. Looks like a one oh fight again God. from Shadow Ford. Oh my God, bought Shadow Blade. He's not, yeah, does not he have nothing. a buyback. And look at this. End is just fighting against Yuwar right now, but one of them has an Aegis, one of them doesn't. He baits it out, and I think the Life Steal is just going to get right-clicked down right now, and he does. Does have the buyback. Will have to pop it immediately. 430 is just going to pop that BKB, but a nice ult from Kitrex saving Snaking. There's the Wukong's command. It's gigantic. Will they get this kill? They might back it up. Actually, to try to turn on Jin Q, a nice dodge and a nice swap back. Getting it to stun, but oh, Lotus Orb reflects it back. But there's going to be a basher. You can't reflect that. Still as the Aegis. Tier 3. Are they going to look for more? It's a little bit scary. Jin Q jumps in on the back. They're going to go for Snaking. Does he pop it? Yep, he pops his second ult. Have their... No, it looks like the monkey actually uses Refresh Shard. He will pop it out. His Echo Saber is going to be back in his backpack. Jin Q is going to get right click down by Yuar. He will pop it, but uh oh, they might get this Vengeful. MSS gets a stun, and this looks to be some more kills. Jin Q does get a, a nice play up there, but look at this. Sand King will get saved again. They're just right clicking. If this Medusa goes down, the game's, game's over. And I'm over. That's game.
Yeah, that will be game. We might see he does swap him out, but wait, they're gonna try to go in. There's the plus three adaptive strike. Jin Q, he tries to toss him actually, but he gets tossed him in the air from the Lotus Orb. They move forward, and uh-oh, there goes Innocence, and they're just gonna sit in their base. They're still right-clicking. The creeps are finally trying to help out. We do see a bash by end. Snaking, will he go down before well, this game hit ends? that drone. Maybe not. They want to get these kills. Lacoste, you gotta get the kills. There's gonna be another ulti. There's gonna be the GG call, and the throne will get... Okay, okay. Well, there's one. Your heroes. All right. You're gonna have to have a Headhunter, not that tanky at level one. He's just gonna get hit by this, and this should be a first blood for him. I love it. We haven't seen many smoke ganks coming out at level one, but there will be one, and well, Snake King, continue to run, but more than likely you're gonna go down here in one more attack. Zhao Wei, will he just steal it? No, okay. Could have if he wanted to, but he like you see Kitrak does get the pull off in the top lane, helping a little bit. It's only a solo, but they're gonna throw the stun out on Bane. Is gonna get shackled. Only level one on Winter Wire, and that's all you need. You have the Arctic Burn, has a brain seven. Jin Q is actually getting beat down. This is, could be a 2v1 win. Nope, Bane has will go down. and Fairy Fire to work with, so he's good to come back. Tidehunter will still free farm, you can't really contest him. See, he just goes down, man. As you said, the MSS, uh-oh, Innocence could be in trouble. Gets the lift, gets the open wounds, and this should be a quick kill. MSS actually misses the hit, and it will give it. will just run away, and there's going to be a Hex, but it seems like Kitrek should survive here. Oh. But they will get the hold on the tower. No, he will not. That damage over time from... Enough to work with. Go for the deny here, will he? He goes for it. Oh, I thought he got it, but he doesn't see CNC picks it up. And uh oh, the Arctic Burn's wearing off. My friend, you went for it, and it was a good effort, but you, you're just gonna... making still trying to run. Kitrex like, please, creep, stop blocking me. Xiao Wei going for it. Will he have enough? He wants to get that heal off. He gets it. And now oh, uh -oh, they, Jin they Jin might Q. get him, actually. Yeah, it's uh, only level one Degen aura, but the next purification ready in a couple of seconds. Also, he's bottling up uh, Jin Q. Hex will be ready. Nice That's more than enough. Yep, and here we go. Boom. Drops it on him in a nice... Why is that? Uh, wait up, we might have a fight right here. CCNC does have the ulti of URs trying to fight. Oh, and he gets shackled. There's no rage. Are they going to try to save him? They need to do something. He will pop the rage. Now he's going to try to run the other way, but I have a feeling he might be in a lot of trouble. He's going to jump into a creep. He's going to try to run away. Run, Alpha Wolf. It won't make it. He's going to jump out. Trap gets popped, and he's going to get beat down. There, snaking, trying to front line, heals up, has the Vlads. CCNC going in, will hit the Spirit Siphon. There's a trap under tower, isn't going to get popped. Now it will. There's going to be the Ravage. It hits onto three of them. A nice one from snaking, but going to try to run. Oh, he's trying to pull the creeps as well. MSS is here, so is Kitrek. They're going to try to avoid it. There is going to be a stolen Winter's Curse from MSS. There's going to be a grip on the backside. It's going to be on the Omni Knight wall. The Shadow Shaman just sleeping. He will wake up, gets the instant hex off. Zhao Wei still alive, getting so many heals. There's going to be the Ravage. It's going to be for one, but they do. You might be able to still, you, you get it bottled up. This might be, uh oh, there's gonna be the war trap. It's gonna go down. Death Providence, so much trouble. And trap. Wow, gets blown up. Trap goes down. Kraken Shell is there. Wait for it to puzzle. They're, they're worried about these snakes. They do go down in 10 seconds, and they're doing a good job defending this pit. He just walks in, wants to see it. He'll see the Roche isn't that load. Oh, the stolen winner's curse. See you later, Zhao Wei. Nice play there by MSS. He's snaking. Will be in there. Another trap goes down. Never end goes. Nice silence going out. But the hex, they should be able to just kill it. Yep, there goes the Death Prophet. And uh oh, they're going to turn it around. There's a sleep on Snake King. He's going to try to get out of here. Still no Ravage for 10 seconds. They might have enough to burst. He's so damn tanky, though, and he's just going to run out. But I've got to pop him the other side from MSS. And well, there's going to be the Ravage. They finally go in. It's going to be a jump out. Instant kill. It's going to be a buyback as well. CCNC pops the ghost. They're going to find 430. He's in a lot of trouble. He's just going to get gripped up. Oh, but it will get hexed on the max side. Never end in a lot of trouble. Already used the cheese. Old. He does have the cheese. You said there's going to be the Guardian Angel. They want to kill CCNC. Has a Lincoln's. No more Yules, though. They're trying to run down. 430 in a lot of trouble. We'll just make it out. Zhao 8 now getting right click down. They're all trying to get out. But uh oh, stunned up is 430. There's going to be the Aegis. Feels like you need a fight. Jin Q will TP back in. They're going to try to turn it. Rubik will end up going down. There will be an instantaneous buyback by him. Exorcism's wearing off in about one sec. Will slow them all down. Wraith Fire Blast stolen by MSS. Goes out again. Do they have detection? Doesn't look like it. He's just running away. Yawar runs uphill. Is scared. Jumps into snaking. They're going to try to back out. He stuns the right guy. There's two heroes inside. And they're going to try to right click. Will he just jump out? Anchor Smash is going to go. He does jump out. TA gets blown up instantly. There is going to be a Yules into the air. The Wraith King in a lot of trouble. He will eat the cheese. Can he last eight more seconds? Three ults in one fight? Looks like he will. He'll just run away. And now Xiaoyi going to go for the TP. Will get blasted down. And it feels like he's, he is just right clicking people. That thing's going to be a beast. Oh, goes for a stun. He has to rage out of it. He's going to try to run. Will he make it? He's going to go away. They do get a trap at least on CCNC. So this will be one kill. So uh, a nice pickoff coming at the back end of that, even though you do lose your tier three. Well, maybe. There's no way he makes it out right. Okay, he might have if he Almost. didn't get crit. Yeah. 
Exactly. You see a blink forward, they're gonna go. Will they be able to find this Wraith King at least once? It looks like he'll go down, it will pop the ult. No, he gets saved for once. Snake King does pop his ult. He, he actually hits on two, but Winter Wyvern will go down. A very nice find there, as you say. And CC and C, he's just running after him. These ghosts doing work. Will they be able to at least kill him once? They sure do. They are fighting by the shrine, but I don't think they're close enough. He will blink away instantly in another late game. Buyback goes. We do see Sansa on the backside. There will be a pickup. Will he be able to just kill the Shadow Shaman before he gets anything off? He will get the snakes and he actually will get Cold Embrace. He's still alive. He can still cast some abilities and he comes out. CC and C in a lot of trouble. Lincolns will get popped. They blink forward. CC and C should go down here. Nice Yules will save. There's a Winner's Curse on the back on the Tide Hunter, but unfortunately no one's going for it. CC and C will drop. And now they're just right clicking down. You are. He's going to get held in place. And as you said, no Tide Hunter ult, no DP ult. Just straight up run at him and they do it. Will they find oh. and will respawn? It's 45 seconds. It's a quick one. There's bounty runes on the ground. There's the bash hit. That is their gem as well. He has to instantly buy back. On the other side, there's going to be Yules in the air. Jin Q gets found out. There will be a Spirit Siphon. Can they get him? He doesn't make it up the hill. He will get Guardian Angel, though. Will that be enough to save? Here comes Snake King. He pops the first one. It does hit onto two of them. It will be the Shadow Shaman as well as that Omni Knight. They'll bring down Jin Q in a little bit. Yep, there he goes. Finally drops. And now Innocence, he will have to heal himself up. Yuar can't quite bring him down, has that range, trying to burn him. Will there be a bash hit there? As he goes down, he does that buyback. They instantly both buy back. That's a nice grip, but it is a hex. Jin Q already back. Guardian Greaves will save 430 on the backside. Never end. He's going in. He tries to kill MSS as well as Kitrek. They can't do it because it's a stolen cold embrace from MSS on himself. He gets healed. It's the second ravage. It pops out. It hits onto four of them. 430 goes in. There's the bash hit. There goes MSS, MSS buyback. now. He has to buy back. He's going to try to get back into this fight. Snake King just doing plus 250 damage to everyone. Look at that shackle from the high ground. No one's really taking much damage except 430, but he will make it out. He's cold embraced as well. Will he get held in place enough? There will be a shackle. It does get canceled. 430 in a lot of trouble. Meld hit and they try to chase forward. Snaking will find the Omni Knight. He eats the cheese. He has a gem. He used Guardian Greaves. He's trying to get out. Open wounds does get dispelled off. There's the shackle. Look at how far away that is. Jin Q with the stretch arm strong, but now end is getting initiated on. Stun goes out. Life steals in a lot of trouble. Life stealer drops. Two 1k crits in a row. Omni Knight almost down, but almost isn't good enough. We see a blink forward, and now Never End is just beating some ass. Oh, Jin They're going to find him. There's the Glimmer. Can't cast anything. There's going to be the Shackle. That's going to be a dieback. This is this is finally it. There, there's a moment when it's going to be a full 4v5. Making moving forward. Zhao Wei is there. Like you said, the Moon Shark. They will find two of them. It's two of the cores, though. He does res if he gets him. They find him a nice Winner's Curse on the Life Stealer to lock them all down. The Wraith King looks to be the first one to drop, but he does have his ultimate. And MSS lifts himself up. Double snakes get laid onto the ground, and they're just doing so much damage with them. They try to get one. There goes Never, and he's going to be the first to drop. Snake King's actually taking the most damage we've seen him take all game. Dire Courier killed it as a full refresher. MSS goes down. Snaking is going to try to run, but they finally bring him down. CC and C with those ghosts. It doesn't look. He yules into the air. He's doing some damage, but never end. Gets the stun Bash. off. They're going to get the kill. That's no buyback for the base here. Snake King goes in. He just gets instantly bashed. Will they be able to bring him down, though? He's trying to run. He's going to be okay. Jin Q, he finds Lifesteal on the backside. What a shackle by him, and this looks to be the kill on Lifestealer. It is. He doesn't have a buyback. And there G it is. GG's are dropped. What a what a game. It, it just like game one and game two, both these teams play extremely simple.